What up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and today I have a bootleg review of the NECA knife head and axe head vinyl figures. They didn't do vinyl figures. It's a bootleg review. Man, it is like bootleg week here on the channel. It really isn't. But you know what? Uh, I had more bootlegs to do, and I figured I'd do them back to back. These are actually ones I've gotten pretty recently. Got them on AliExpress. Um, did I get Kong on AliExpress? I failed to mention where I got it. I think I got it on AliExpress. I could have gotten it on eBay. These I definitely got it on AliExpress. Just got them within the last two months or so. And as you can tell, this is based on the smaller knife head figure from NECA, the original one. And this is based on, is it Trespasser, Axe Head? I know one is a concept, one is not, I don't know. I'm gonna call him Axe Head, I think, uh, or Trespasser, whatever. I think I'm calling him Axe Head, um, doesn't matter to me. And this is a bigger figure. I didn't own any one of these two. I had the bigger um, knife head from NECA, but never the, the smaller one. However, I like when bootlegs do something like this. These are vinyl figures, so they're completely different from the originals. I mean, same mold, but cast in vinyl, which totally changes the the deal, in, in my opinion. Uh, and these are something I've seen for a little bit now, and I've wanted to get arm swivels. I'm obviously doing articulation right now. Uh, you know, all the arms are swiveled. Uh, the head uh, does not swivel. The legs swivel and the tail uh, does not swivel. On this guy, the head, nee, no, no swivel. Arm swivel, a swivel at the elbow-ish type thing. Do these swivel? They do not. Does this swivel? It does not. And uh, the leg swivel and there's not even a cut at the tail. So, you know, you get them some you know, some articulation, which is not bad. I like these guys, <laughs> I really do. Uh, the thing I don't like about them though, before we talk about it further, is these things smell, man. I mean, bootlegs usually smell, but oddly enough, these smell like flowers or something. And I've tried all kinds of things to get the smell out and, it, they don't reek of flowers anymore, but when you take a whiff of them, they, they smell like something. I don't know what that is. Formaldehyde? I have no idea. Uh, it can't be good. Um, so, a word of warning about that, you know? Mm. You know, it is what it is. But they look good. I mean, it, it, they look good for vinyl figures. They do. Like Knife Head's head. I think it looks really cool. I'm not mentioning the neckers anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I think the sculpt is good. The eyes are done in a blue, which looks nice. The teeth are done in white. There's a kind of maroonish tongue, uh, a gray sculpt throughout, and uh, gray, not great, but it's pretty great. Um, it works very well. There's some little excess black paint here because the nails are done in a jet black and I like them. I do. The tail looks pretty decent. The back is done in a nice silver and there's some black on the edge here. Really nice silver. I like that a lot. I think it looks really great. Um, the sculpt is good. The proportions are nice. I do dig it. Uh, I think it looks very cool. Got these spikes here in silver as well. You know, they did silver on both sides. Bandai doesn't do that <laughs> sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I think there's more paint on here than a Bandai uh, Movie Monster series figure in a way. So um, that's kind of cool. I do like it. Um, yellow is not so good. Sprayed on, but you know what? <laughs> Some of those NECAs weren't so great either. Um, and the, these kind of do almost look like, you know, bioluminescence in a way on this figure. So I'll let it go. I think Knife Head is pretty good. So if Knife has a Category 3, this guy's definitely got to be a Category 4 or 5, right? He's a bigger guy. 
Um, I like him too. I like the uh, sculpt work. I like the proportions. His arms go like all the way down to the ground, uh, which is kind of neat. I do dig it. Arms look really nice. Nails again done in jet black, which I dig. Orange glow. It's not great, but kind of works. Chest is painted. That's cool. Good sculpt, guys. Good sculpts. Translated well to vinyl. The arms look cool. I wish these were articulated, but they're glued in. Um, but you know what? That's fine. Legs look really good. I like the sculpt work on the legs, you know, down here as well. Look at the sides. The orange looks good on the sides. It really does. The back is really nice. The paint here is not so hot. Uh, but the black is good, but the paint around it is not so good. Oh, you got like excess paint there. It's a bootleg. Um, but you do have this kind of brown thing again, which looks really cool. And again, there is paint here. You know, I, I can't fault it. It looks pretty good. Tail is done nicely. Legs uh, is good. Look at this. Look at the texture on this guy. On both of them, really. I mean, the details are there. It came through on the vinyl. So... Man, these are awesome. Imagine if NECA had the wherewithal to have <laughs> it said, you know what, we should make vinyl figures. I mean, vinyl figures, you know who? Are vinyl figures popular uh, with kaiju fans? Imagine if they made vinyl figures of their sculpts. They could have got even more use out of their molds. Because these guys are proof that they look really good. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, Bandai did vinyls of the Uprising Kaiju, which I, you know, for the most part, really liked. And these are cool. They look really decent for bootleg figures, and they're really, really cheap. So, I think um, they're both really nice, in my opinion, for what they are. So, yeah, I can recommend them. I, I wish there was more. I hope they are. If there's more, I'm going to get them. Because I like him. Oh, I didn't need that. I can talk about Accent's head. That guy looks pretty good. I like this yellow. This is uh, not a color in, in, you know seen anywhere else except right there. Um, so, you know, you can see that they're done in the same place. Cool. Orange paint again. Orange in the mouth with the uh, same color tongue. So, you know, they were sitting there doing all the stuff together. The teeth, you know, a little overpainted, but, uh, you know, again, we've seen it before. <laughs> On band nice too. So there you go. I think it's pretty good. This is a really nice pumpy hump. And uh, they're both cool. I dig them. And for your size comparisons, here are the vinyl Pacific Rim Kaiju with a bunch of other figures that you might have in your collection, you know, including the uh, best figure of the year, Atlas Destroyer. And uh, one of the NECA knife heads, the bigger one. Again, I don't have the smaller one, but that's the bigger one. So that is the scale you're looking at. It's a good scale. And my final thoughts. Honestly, the, the only thing I don't like about these guys is that they're, they're smelly. Uh, they're a weird, weird smell that's not going away. It's sort of concerning. So. For that alone, I can't say, yeah, go out and get these because I don't know what the results will be for you. Um, you know, maybe maybe you won't get a smelly one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're all smelly. I have no idea. I can only talk from mine. And I do like them. Uh, I like the idea of vinyl Pacific Rim figures, uh, you know? So they're almost third party-ish in that regard, unless bootleg, but they are bootleg because they're based on the NECA molds. But, um, you know, once you make them with something different, it's a little bit different, if you know what I'm saying. So, I do like them in that regard overall, and they're cheap enough to check out. So, there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, share your channel, Facebook, and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.